Hey, my name is Wina Go. My ID number is 115. I'm currently a multimedia art student. Before kasi, parang I'm studying at a Chinese school, so we're more focused on the mga math, science. Tapos talagang nag, ano lang, parang I'm more, I'm, it's more of a hobby na nagdo-drawing ako before, but then parang nag, ano ako dito nag-apply, tapos, ano, dito na rin ako nag-study, and then, dito lang talaga ako nagkaroon ng formal training sa, ano, painting, under, ano, Sir Vincent Padilla, yun, kasi parang he would, as his students to join competitions. My name is Vincent Padilla. Um, I, I started teaching in Benilt under Design Foundation since 2008. Yeah, I was first uh, given drawing, mm -hmm. drawing one and two. Tapos color rendering, which is now studio courses, mm -hmm. studio one and two. And principles of design. Before kasi, color rendering, partly merong the principles of design. So yung one term is really limited. Mm -hmm. And then because of the um, new curriculum, there's one whole term that is focused on painting. Mm -hmm. So half of the term, I will speed up the process of the syllabus mm -hmm. so that after the midterm, they could just focus on one single painting, which is a three by three feet painting, specifically for shell. Because mm -hmm. Shell is a competition for students that is open theme. Mm -hmm. No theme at all. Mm -hmm. You are open to do whatever you want. He encouraged me to join other competitions. That's how G lang. Because I enjoy it. And if there's no reason na I would paint, parang I wouldn't really paint. Um, my students were all excited about it. Because they get to paint a big painting. Even if it doesn't win, they could bring it home. Mm -hmm. Put it in their house. So they feel like para talagang nasa fine art school sila. Matagal yung process ng piwina, ang dami niyang pinata, uh, ang dami niyang itinalo eh. <laughs> she didn't win eh. I mean, she joined five competition as in lost. Tapos after that, walang ano talaga. Like hindi ako nakapasok. Tapos I was, I was thinking that it's not meant for me. Na I think I should stop. Kasi parang feel ko na pinipilit ko lang but then hindi talaga for me. Tapos sabi ko, why not try a professional for one? Because he was like, maybe ano, parang year for mga professional na ano, na competition. So I should join Philippine Art Awards. And I was like, <laughs> parang, kung student nga lang, hindi kayo, what more? Professional. Tapos he was like, okay lang, parang I'll, ano, I'll mentor you, parang I'll help you. Yun. So we, ano, we thought of a concept. Yun. Kasi since I'm 100% Chinese, where I was born in the Philippines, niya, why not ano? Why not use that ano parang identity of yours as your theme in a way in the competition? That's yun. First and foremost, ano, um, if you're a painter, normally you represent yourself. Eh. Mm -hmm. And as when when I realized that since she's 100% Chinese, why not focus on that? Mm -hmm. And we all know naman some Chinese having are having a, an identity crisis. Because mm -hmm. they are Filipino, but they are Chinese at the same time. So we focused on that concept. Mm -hmm. Then we came up with that idea. Because mm -hmm. since ano, parang si Sir Vincent, he, he has joined so many competitions. Na, he has won so many competitions. So in a way, he knows how to win. Tapos sabi niya na, if you're gonna join competitions, dapat yung maximum size, or else hindi ka mapapansin. Kasi if like, yung work mo katabi mga bigger pieces ma ano siya but uh -huh. drown in a way so yun kaya five by six uh -huh. I was overwhelmed <laughs> super laki talaga tas like yung dress bigger than me na rin in a way super weird nung size tas I can't even bring it home kasi kailangan ng truck so I would paint sa SDA so kapag holidays I would ask bro then if I can ano if I could paint here I would paint sa three three fifteen kapag ano competition I would paint the whole day talaga tas like every day Except Sunday. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to pass it because I'm going to be paint. Tapos, um, wala na, if I don't paint, it's a bit weird yung feeling. Eh. Yeah, I look, parang something's missing. So, I really enjoy painting. Na, it, it's also my leisure, in a way. Na, nakakatanga siya ng stress. Um, I felt very accomplished because um, I never thought that I, I would be able to make something that big. Tapos fabric ba? I, I don't, I'm not really good at making fabrics. 
yung sa ano yung first painting ko it was a the ba newborn baby tas may fabric tas yung newborn baby okay siya but then yung fabric super tigas niya tignan kasi i didn't know how to make fabric so like when i like saw the difference parang na ano na wow because before i would draw pero i didn't know yung parang mga terms i would just draw out of wala lang parang instinct so like yung when i entered benil na ano ko na oh ganun pala yun so may mga um, what do you call that parang mga <laughs> terms or like theories it would help you um like mas better yung mga go mo parang servants taught me a way na parang faster painting na um you should add the tones muna that's after that you blend it tapos yung detail. That's quicker. Kasi before, I would paint like a 3x3. Three three, yun yung first work ko, 3x3. Three three. Tapos it took me 3 months. Super tagal talaga kasi I didn't know how. So parang patong ng patong ng layers. Tapos he taught me a easier way, faster way. When, when I won, umakit ako ng stage ko para to, to, to get the trophy. Tapos yung ano, there was a girl there who hugged me. Parang natuwa siya kasi Two lang kami na girls. Tapos sabi niya, there should be more, ano, parang girl artist, ano, girl power. Tapos naiyak ako. Like, I cried to stage. Tapos ako na yung umiyak. Tapos like, they were saying, nahalatang baguhan. <laughs> Yun. Uh, the, the advice is, you know, to, to stick to to the plan. Because she has, she has this plan already of uh, pursuing her career as an artist, painter. Well, like right now, parang I have mga rackets na branding. Tapos my redesign so like in a way nagagamit ko pa yung media arts and also it's a way parang it's easier to market yourself when you know how to use technology so like i market myself through yung multimedia arts and then like, nagagamit ko siya for that for me i am parang if they pursue their passion it's never a wrong choice because it's gonna ano, parang be fruitful in the end because if you enjoy doing it it doesn't feel like a chore uh I'll, ano lang, I'll I won't stop painting. And also, parang I should, in a way, parang I shouldn't stick to one style lang. Parang I should explore and like, don't settle for, ano, for like yung comfort zone lang. You should, ano, because it's a, it won't, it will, it would stop your ano, parang it, yung grow, growth if you if you're comfortable now. So yun. Talent is talent. Um, no matter. Um, your major or what school you are in, if you're talented, you are all equal. So the competition is also equal. Ah, kasi before par I would be ano super shy if I'm called the people kid, kasi parang <laughs> ayaw ng ganun. For now par I feel like if you're extraordinary in a way par it's not really wrong. It's actually an an advantage. So like you shouldn't be shy if you want to excel or like be different from the rest. Ganun.